So I've covered the very basics of opening and closing files. Let's look at some code in a bit more depth. In step nine in the code archive, if you open 01 underscore file basics, this is the code you'll see. And this contains examples of some simple file operations. For example, as I've already explained, it opens and closes a text file. This happens to be uh, the file is called test.text, which I've defined up here. I've defined it with the constant file name and it reads and writes lines of text to and from that file using the read lines and write lines functions. And further down, you can see I've also got functions to clear the file, that is to remove the contents from the file and to delete the file, that's to remove the file itself from disk. Okay, so here, as I've said, I, I define these two constants, the file name, and the maximum length of a string, the strings I'm going to read and write from the files. The write lines function opens the file for writing using the file mode W. And in this file mode, if the file doesn't exist, it's created. If it does exist, its contents are deleted before any data is written into the file. Now here, two lines of text are written with carriage returns new line characters at the end using F puts and the FP is, is the file pointer specifying the file to write the data into. And then at the end, the file is closed. Now, when I run this, I just run the program. So, okay, it's run and it should have created my file. I'm opening the file in the directory. It's test.txt and sure enough, there are the two strings that have been written into that plain text file. Now, the next thing I want to do in my code is to open the file to read back the data, and that's done up here in read lines. Now, what happens here is that if the specified file, the file with this name, can be opened, the function reads the lines of text from the file while there are still more lines to be read. And it then displays those lines on screen, that's std out. And it closes the file when all the lines have been processed. And if the file can't be opened, in which case the file pointer fp is zero, then an error message is displayed. Let's quickly look at my other functions down here. Clear file. Now this one opens the file for writing with w, but it doesn't write any data into it. Now remember what I said before, opening a file for writing has the effect of deleting the file contents. So this function actually erases the contents of the file, but it leaves the file present on disk. But if you want to remove the file itself, rather than just deleting its contents, you can use the remove function. And that's what I've done here in the delete file uh, function that I've written. And this returns zero if it's successful. Let me quickly show you how these functions work when I run the program. So here I've already called write lines and read lines. And as we've seen, there's text.txt and it contains the lines that I wrote into it. Now let me comment this out. So this time these functions are not going to be called. And instead I'll call clear file. That's this function up here, which simply opens the file in write mode, but doesn't do anything to it. Run it again. And let's see what has happened to my file. As I said, when I open the file in write mode, the contents are deleted. I haven't written anything back into it, so I've ended up with an empty text file. Now, if I run instead the function delete file, and that calls remove, which should in fact delete the file, all being well. From disk, it says it's deleted, and I look back in the directory. Sure enough, the file is no longer there. If I want to recreate the file and write some more lines into it, then I'll uncomment my original lines of code to open the file in write mode, write data into it, and my file is now recreated, and it's back to its original contents, the strings that I wrote into it.